I think it's time we stop being embarrassed of enjoying K-pop now as fans. You know, the older I get, the less I care about others judging me and my hobbies. Oh, I love watching K-dramas. I love watching the K-pop and people know me for it. But there are still some people who still turn their nose up and like give me the sign when I talk about K-pop and K-dramas. But you know something? I am. I think I'm past that stage in life right now where I need to explain myself to everybody about why I, I like a certain thing or not. K-pop is one of the hobbies I have that people expect me to go out of, which, which they tell me, it's not for young people, it's not for younger people, which is very rid- ridiculous to me. I just watched um, a clip of um, Girls' Generation, their 17 years anniversary, and I was so, so emotional. Even though I, I really did not get into k-pop at the very early stage but i got into k-pop and i have actually retraced my stuff to a lot of golden but olden k-pop songs from the first the second generations which i really love and afterwards i was just thinking to myself when i got into k-pop first i actually was hiding the fact that i actually liked k-pop i really hid it to the extent that i don't let people know what i listen to when i'm on YouTube or where I'm listening to music and someone asks me what are you listening to I said I'll, I'll, I'll be like I don't understand I, you, you, know, you don't know what I'm listening to I just laugh it laugh it off and try to like change the topic Then I think to myself now why did I do that why did I why did I keep hiding and I keep hiding and, and trying to like hide everything K-pop related now I see Taylor Swift concert and old people are wearing bang- bangles, um, friendship bracelets, going to the concert, not being ashamed of anything. And I'm saying, what's wrong with showing the same support to amazing groups in the K-pop industry? What's so bad about that? These artists are doing the same thing, entertaining us and appealing to our emotions. But you know, not to get so deep into it, there are still some negative perceptions of K-pop and the weird notion that is embarrassing or this cringe to like. K-pop is really, 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 really em- embedded in racism and and very weird perception. People believe that majority of K-pop fans are girls and women and the entire world just loves making fun of us like, oh, it's not just the girls listening to K-pop, women listening to K-pop. For no genuine reason, they just find fault that women love listening to K-pop. And I think the racism about K-pop comes from the fact that it is not a genre from the West. It is not a white thing. It is not a white, it's not a white entertainment. And, and I know that people will tell me that, um, why don't you talk about the weirdos in the fandoms? Or people that are actually really, really crazy about K-pop and weird fans that ruin it for everybody. Yes, we have fans like that. We have people like that. And it is everywhere. It is written everywhere that we have fans. We have football, football fans that are weird too. We have pop fans that are weird too. It is not just about K-pop alone. But generally speaking, there is absolutely no shame in loving K-pop regardless of your age. I mean, my late strength is right now. And I think there's no... That it's not a big you being, being a K-pop fan because I know that I am not being weird to idols or go and I, I, I do not bully people but I really love the music I love the culture and I love the entertainment and I hope there is even a bigger shift in the public opinion and the public perception of K-pop since it's getting more acceptable slowly we're getting there because honestly so many people are missing out on some really great music and performance because of gross and stupid misconception about K-pop. So now, I am, a, I am in a stage in my life where I'm not embarrassed or self-conscious about loving or liking K-pop or K-dramas anymore. So when you ask me, oh, why do you like K-pop? I, tell you, I just tell you simply, it's cool, it's fun, and I enjoy it, and we move on from that conversation. I do not need to explain myself to you why I love K-pop. If you want to really know why I love K-pop, you are so, so, so invited to come listen to K-pop with me. It is very, it's a very lively place to be. Come listen and come enjoy yourself. See, the world is, 
is too busy and the spotlight is on everybody right now. I think everybody has one problem or the other they are facing right now. So if you want to make my liking K-pop the focus of your life, then so be it. I am so done being embarrassed and self-conscious about why I like K-pop and K-dramas. On to the next, we move.